hiking at Jefferson Memorial. I just saw a little deer that I see a lot in this area. There it is again. Beautiful little deer. His mother's probably somewhere close. She usually is. I think that's the mother there. I think, I'm not sure. Oh, I think that's the little one. There's two of them over here. I think this is the mother. Oh, there's the other one up there. Oh, this might be the little one. I get them mixed up from a distance. They look the same. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the mother there. No, <laughs> I can't tell. I need to see them both together. This is the little one because the mother wouldn't let me get this close. She's in the background somewhere. Keeping an eye on me. Well, the deer got away from me. I think they ran down this hill. I'm gonna hike down to Mitchell Hill Lake now. See some deer footprints here.
It's a beautiful morning. It's cold, but perfect for hiking. Still see footprints on the trail. I think I see a deer over there. Going back up the hill. It's the top of the hill. That's where I'm coming from. Headed down to Mitchell Hill Lake. Not much to eat this time of year. Little deer's looking at me. I'm going to head down to the lake. I'm approaching the trail marker for Milchahill Hill Lake. Trail marker H15. Getting close to the lake. I think you can see it up there. Still a little muddy down here. It's half frozen. Last time I was here, I saw several deer running up that hill don't see any this morning there is the lake This area is where the ducks like to hide, but I don't see any, probably too cold for them. There's another hiding place back here.
No ducks in this lake this morning. I think I'll check Tom Wallace Lake on my way home. I've seen deer back in this area before. I don't see any this morning. Every time I pass this area, a bunch of birds fly off. They look like blackbirds, maybe red-winged blackbirds. Take one last look at the lake. Just left Mitchell Hill Lake. Now I'm on my way back up to the top. I've got some steep hills to climb here. Coming from down there. Jerusalem Memorial has some beautiful trails. I'm on the level part of this trail. It lets me rest up from hiking up those steep hills. Back up at the top of the hill. Gonna hike this field one more time. More deer footprints. Hiking in the snow, you can follow the footprints. Looks like he went off in that direction. I don't see any over here, so I'll cut through here. I'm not very good with my footprints. Hoping this is not a coyote following the little deer.
Oh, there's still some deer footprints. Doing a little off trail hiking here. Something was digging here looking for something to eat. Looks like squirrel footprints. These footprints are all over the place. I don't know if it's a coyote or a fox. Oh, there's deer footprints. And they're going off in that direction. That's where I came from, and I didn't see any deer. I followed them back in this area before. I don't see any footprints back here. Beautiful up here. I don't know when this was built, like the kids have been back here playing. I don't know how these got here. This is an area where you, where you wouldn't expect to find them. There's some wood. Found some more. I guess there was a time when they had anything left over, they just threw it back in the woods. I'm going to go back here and find a trail that I like to hike that most people don't know about. Here it is, it's not marked, but it's a beautiful trail. It's in good condition too. I don't know why this trail is not marked or named. It might be part of the old blue trail and the blue trails are closed now. Before COVID-19, they had a, a lot of youth programs up here. Maybe that's what they used this trail for. Sure is peaceful up here this morning. There's blue paint on this tree, so it could have been part of the blue trail. Boy Scouts had a camp up here at one time. That might have been part of it. It's the Horan Environmental Center now. But when my son was in the Boy Scouts about 40 years ago, I probably hiked this trail with them. I'm 
passing the Alpine Tower. I was told by people that work here that it's closed and they're not going to reopen it because of safety issues. This is what happens to fences when they put them up in heavily wooded areas. They get mashed. That's funny. People always want to put up fences to protect their property. I think they wasted their time and money putting this fence up. It is so beautiful up here. I can't believe more people don't hike. I'm glad they don't. I like having these trails all to myself. I think those are raccoon footprints. see deer and raccoon footprints in this area. Always call these pregnant trees. Strange how they grow. Passing the other side of the Alpine Tower getting close to the road now all this up here was built for the Boy Scouts now they use them for youth programs Boy Scouts had a beautiful spot here back on the road I'm going to hike back to my car, then drive to the Welcome Center and hike down to Tom Wallace Lake. Hopefully I'll see some ducks down there. I love these bridges that they built. Looks like I'm going to be the first one over this one this morning. Passing Shannon's Pond. They got two bridges that they built here. So this the playground is open. It's starting to snow a little bit. Deer always go off in this direction, and that's private property over there. I was here earlier. Those are my footprints. I'll hike back in that woods for a while. I'm on my way back to my car. 
I'm almost to the parking lot on the Haran Reservation. I'm going to drive to the Welcome Center and, to, and hike to Tom Wallace Lake. I'm at the Welcome Center. I'm going to hike down to Tom Wallace Lake. This trail is the start of the Siltstone Trail. This trail is pretty muddy. Such a peaceful sound. This road leads to the Tom Wallace Lake parking lot. I see the deer have been on this muddy trail. I'm at Tom Wallace Lake. Looks like there's a lot of ice on the lake. So muddy up here this morning. There's some kids at Tom Wallace Lake doing a little sledding and they are loud. Back at the steps. Well, one good thing about being muddy these steps aren't icy. Get my car. I took 13,394 steps and I hiked 6.24 miles.